So I first want to start off talking about hair care, which if you've been watching my channel, I've kind of given up the wigs a little bit. I won't say given them up, but I've been rocking my natural hair and I just honestly didn't realize how much maintenance it is and why I started wearing wigs in the first place. So I'm probably going to start wearing wigs again right after this just because it's just a lot to properly maintain and style my hair it's not even the maintenance part I always maintain my hair underneath my wigs but usually I never style my hair I just you know put it in braids and throw a wig on and with all that being said for my hair care I have been using the Redken all soft line this is the mega conditioner I always use conditioner for at least 30 minutes to 90 minutes I just leave it sitting in my hair and I just feel like this is so good for repairing damaged hair, dry hair. My stylist has made it very clear that if you want your hair to grow and be healthy, you have to always make sure you're hydrating it every single day, your scalp and your hair, especially if your hair is already dry. So I'm speaking more for my dry hair girls and my women of color because usually our hair is a little bit more dry than you know women not of color so i just really want to recommend this redken brand it is pricey but this is a jumbo size if you guys try like a smaller size to see if you like it i definitely would recommend this this has just been my favorite i've been loving it it just makes my hair so soft fluffy and just bouncy like it should be just super healthy so love this little stuff from redken i use the entire line but since I, this is kind of empty and i'm getting ready to film another video my project pan video I just brought this specific item out but I've been loving the whole all soft line. The next thing I've been loving which is kind of a gift for my husband because I had a gift card. This is the Marc Jacobs Perfect Perfume. This is a warm floral and it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful on the skin. It's just really like fun but still mature and look at the top. I think it's so cute. I love 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 Marc Jacobs Beauty handbags i just love all things by mark jacobs it's really hard to describe a scent but this is like a warm floral like i said it's very warm very cozy but it's not like too warm if that makes sense but it's really it just has a really nice smell to it it's also an oude parfum so a lot of the times for mark jacobs we get a lot of oude toilets this is a parfum so that's exciting, but I really love this perfume. So I've been loving that as well. Next thing I've been loving, forgive it because it's dirty. This is the Rare Beauty sponge. So you guys know I love the Elf sponges. I always rave about the Beauty Blender, but I've been really into this sponge over the Beauty Blender lately because of its shape. I feel like especially right here in the inner corner, it just really gets what I needed to get without spreading the makeup. It's like these sharp edges. It's really good for cleaning up like your contour and stuff like that and setting powder. And I love how squishy the sponge is. It's a little bit more squishy than the Beauty Blender, but nonetheless, I'm actually really into this sponge right now. So if you guys haven't tried this sponge, try it. It's 20, the Beauty Blender is $20. This is a little bit more affordable than that. And it's also really big. I specifically only use this for concealer. I don't really use brushes for concealer I always tend to use sponges for concealer and brushes for my foundation but I've been really into the sponge so I love rare I think it's very money friendly when it comes to the brands in Sephora because those are not cheap I've also been really into the makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette this one is the master mattes palette hard to see like the indentations but I've been using this all the time I've mixed it with other palettes I just feel like even though it's a little bit pricey it just has everything that I need for a glam or simple look I've just been really into this eyeshadow palette I don't know I just feel like it works well and loving this since I bought it it is really pricey for what you were getting 
but it's so compact and so convenient that and it's getting dirty usually my makeup never gets dirty but it's just really convenient especially if, like if you don't really know what to do with your makeup i just feel like you cannot mess up your makeup with this eyeshadow palette and it has something for everyone what i've been loving to do with the makeup by mario palette is mixing it in with these individual like liquid eyeshadows by stila and elf i've really been into the elf one more i don't know why this one's in the shade flirty birdie i have another one it's like a copper shade but i have this one on my eyes today along with this palette today but i've been loving mixing it with something like these the stila glitters but i just feel like it makes the look so glam but it's so easy to do so even though my my eye makeup may look super super glam it's really simple to do just throw some mattes in the crease and on the transition area and then just place these on the lids it can take you from like literally nothing to just super super glam because of the glitters in here I hate when I curl my hair and there's like straight pieces just random straight pieces it just really throws me off you guys next I have been loving I have not used this in so long but this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation this is an exact dupe for the Huda foundation period when I was using this foundation I was like this foundation definitely reminds me of something and it's this one they are both full coverage foundations but very lightweight and completely transfer proof this is $40 this is 10 so if you don't want to pay for this one definitely get this one I'm telling you the formula the finish everything is an exact dupe these are the only two foundations I've used that I feel like just do not rub off on my mask most of my other foundations especially because I always have like a dewy finish do rub off a little bit even though my makeup is usually still pretty intact by the end of the day but these I never have to worry about and I just have mine in the shade 336 warm bronze I also have this on my face today as well and I've just been really into this foundation I don't know oh that's why I did a drugstore foundation collection and just kind of when I was going through it just kind of like rediscovered old drugstore favorites but I've been really into this foundation the last couple of weeks so along with that I've been using the super stay full coverage under eye concealer I just cannot use a full coverage foundation and not a full coverage concealer like I can use a full coverage concealer and a light coverage foundation but I can never have the foundation be more coverage than the concealer don't know why but this goes with that and this one is in the shade 30 honey and I really love this concealer a lot. I feel like it's very creamy, very blendable. The only thing is that there's not a lot of product and I have not used this that much. So I don't know why it's almost empty, but this is almost empty. But this is also what I have on my face today. And I've just been really into it. Like I've been really into like a lot of drugstore stuff like the e.l.f., the Maybelline. I've just been really into that lately. You have wanted to try the Huda foundation and you don't want to pay $40 for that foundation because that is a bomb foundation. Please, I'm begging you, try this. Even if you have the Huda foundation, try this foundation. Because I feel like this is going to be compatible with almost all skin types. It's Okay, so the claims of this foundation is that it's up to 24-hour wear seamless matte finish and i actually have this on with a hydrating primer this is the rare beauty illuminating primer and i just feel like it depends on what how you set your makeup and how you prime your face i have normal dry skin i don't really like a soft matte finish so my skin looks a little dewy because of the primer i went in with and how i set it it's oh so this is fade and transfer resistant that's probably why it doesn't transfer it's oil free does not clog pores and i definitely believe that this is definitely lightweight it's breathable and comfortable that's all of the claims that i'm reading are true i don't know if it's 24 hours because i'll never wear a foundation for 24 hours but it's such a good foundation for the price i love maybelline when it comes to foundation so period another one of my favorites is again the rare beauty illuminating primer i honestly was not the biggest fan of this when i first tested out rare beauty but the more i've gotten to play with it and i've used it with a lot of different foundations i really love how this primer looks underneath my foundation because i have on a mattifying foundation today but i feel like this primer is kind of peeking through and making my skin look extremely glowy and i'm here for it i love it I've also been loving the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Even though I don't have this on my face today, I love this. I would probably recommend this for somebody who has thicker brows. I just feel like 
you with thicker brows you don't really need to fill in with like a pencil or powder or pomade or anything these are just going to help freeze your brows and give you like that bushy cute boy brow that's really trendy right now i really like this though so usually i have to use this with my brow pin just because my eyebrows are so thin but if you have thicker brows i think you would really like this instead of using like a brow gel try this it's almost like an edge control for your eyebrows you guys today i actually have on this nyx epic ink eyeliner this one is in the shade blue trip but i actually it's not just this color it's just the epic ink formula i'm trying to find my black one it's somewhere over here i know it is or maybe not i don't know well i have a black one that i use all the time all the time but i'm recommending this formula if you guys want a nice buttery eyeliner i'm telling you try this nyx epic it's oh it's called nyx epic wear liner stick if you guys have not tried these pencils they are so creamy and buttery i have very sensitive eyes my eyes water at everything this does not budge smudge and it comes on so creamy it's like the perfect eyeliner i actually like this a little bit better than the marc jacobs because i feel like even though the marc jacobs is buttery it's not as creamy as this one this one is just perfect and i feel like all the colors i've had have all shown up very very well they build up nicely so i love this and i think these are only like five or six dollars individually i did buy this in a holiday set which was a really good deal but i've just been really into these eyeliners now these are empty but i actually have these on my eyes today i'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you guys can kind of see these are my eyelashes in the style lori you guys can find these on the Cory g cosmetics website down below in the description box but basically what i've been loving to do because these natural these lashes are my most natural pair that i have on my website is i like to cut them in half and then use the front half on the ends of my eyelashes so it literally looks like i have on my own eyelashes but it still gives me like some more fullness if that makes sense so i've been really into that specifically with these lashes you guys and it saves you money because you literally get to cut the lash in half and then use both sides i like to start off with the front side first and then when i want to be more dramatic i use the longer like the the in half because that side is longer but that's why i love these lashes my eyelashes on my website there is something for everybody glam natural all of it you name it so you guys definitely go check that out if you have not already my eyelashes are only five dollars and you guys know for my subscribers i always keep the special discount code down below so you guys go check that out um i've also been really into now these caught me by surprise because i was not a fan of the colors when i saw them in line and when i saw them come into our store but i really like the formula and i actually like this color this is honey waffles the cream gloss bomb by fenty and you guys know i'm not a big on warm tones like at all i also i have this i have most of the stuff on my face today but i'm not huge into warm tones but i just feel like i don't know why i've just been really into this specific gloss with a lot of my makeup looks i just feel like it pairs very well so i've been into it and these aren't i won't say these glosses are sticky but they have more of a sticky feel which I feel like it makes the gloss last longer because you guys know glosses are never going to last super long like a lipstick or a liquid lipstick. They're not made for that, but these have some sort of formula in them where I feel like they last a little bit longer than most glosses. So shout out to Fenty. I love this one. I actually have this one and then the one in Fenty Glow, but I've been really in love with this specific color. Now, I found this little Wet n Wild brush at the Dollar Tree like some months ago, and I just wanted to share with you guys because... This is the type of blending brush that I like for my eyeshadow. I feel like it has the perfect length and fluffiness to it. I don't I don't like long blending brushes. I see that a lot with like eyeshadow brushes. They'll be like this long compared to this one and they're not as like fluffy. This is like the perfect shape for me. And I got this from Dollar Tree for a dollar. So if you guys catch these, these are really good for your eyeshadow. And then my last thing is also some more brushes that I've been obsessed with. BH Cosmetics to me has like the best brushes as far as the drugstore and the most affordable, especially when it comes to their sets. But this Nazanin Kavari brush set, oh my gosh, you guys, it comes with, where's the box? This comes with nine brushes and there's one for, it's a powder brush, a foundation brush, 
an angled brush, a tapered brush, a highlight brush, a blending brush, a flat shader brush, a smudger brush, and a flat edge detailing brush. And I'm telling you guys, the quality of these brushes are so, they're not rough brushes, they're very smooth, they apply the product seamlessly. I really love this brush set. And I believe BH Cosmetics said that this is the last time, this was like the third restock of the brush set. So once, you know, this, once they sell out in this round, they're gone forever. So if you guys have not gotten your hands on that, go get these brushes these are amazing brushes these are more face brushes not eye brushes so if you guys need some good face brushes that's definitely the way to go oh my gosh can you guys believe it is the end of february almost like it's so crazy how fast this year is already starting to go by people always say january is such a long month i just feel like january flew by for me and now i can't believe it's the end of february and it's time for our february favorites but I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to you all who shopped during my Valentine's Day week sale and to all of you who filled out cards from the link in my description box for the kids at St. Jude. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. Please, you guys, do not forget to like this video before you leave. And make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave if you guys wanna see more content from me. And I will see you all very soon in my next one.